What are we left here 18 years later? We came, we want to hear the truth, but all we have is lies. We have people in denial and say she was a, Vicky Chen was a victim of a random act of violence. It wasn't a design thing. It was a, a lone wolf or someone who was radicalized. He was in this country for 25 years and suddenly he just snapped. These guys, we have to understand, there's plenty of evidence. They have a concerted effort. It's called sleeper cells. It's called a designed cause that they have. Robert Block, a mentor of mine, says the reason they're winning, the reason they're able to act with impunity like this is because they're willing to do things for their cause, as evil as it is, that we're not willing to do for our cause. And that's the problem. And that's what we lack. We have to have a, a re-energizing of our will to live, of our will to have peace and brotherhood and to be able to fight against this terror, this scourge that is walking the world. We can't let our authorities, our leaders so-called within the Jewish community, within the country itself here in America, we can't let them get away with insane things or treasonous things that betray us. They see what's going on in Europe these last 10, 15, 20 years, and they let the same exact people come in here. They, they see what's going on. We all see what's going on in the south of Israel where they're overrun and under siege. And this is, this is the kind of uh, uh, attitude they have toward us. It makes us have a, a f we walk around in fear. Who's going to be next? How can we possibly overcome this? We need a new resolve. This is Independence Day. This is an act that, unfortunately, this tragedy took place on the 4th of July. And this should have more of a clamor. This should have more of an effect on the world, on America, on Los Angeles, California, on this airport, that there should be more of a resolve to stand up against the enemies that we have that are winning because we're not willing to do what it takes to defeat them. So I just um, would like to remind everybody, we don't live in a vacuum and it's gonna take all of us. Nobody is excused, not even little kids. They have to grow up and they have to learn what Vicky Chen was about, what happened to her. And only when we are resolved that this will never happen again and not just say it as a trite aphorism that we're supposed to uh, somehow draw strength from and then go home and business as usual and have no uh, further, uh, further uh, need to involve ourselves in anything. We have to take away from here the resolve that we're going to get double the amount of people here next year. Bishumof, and that's the, that's the least that we can do to, to make it that Vicky Chen's life mattered. She didn't die in vain. And she and her family are suffering as, as, as all these years as a result of our inaction, as a result of uh, the cowardice, the treason, the betrayal of our leaders. And it's the time this ended. And it's only going to end with an outcry from all of us. Um, we're going to end now. I'm going to do a Kaddish. The family will.